only real social contact that I have is on the internet and on my phone, my smartphone. I do know that social isolation has a lot to do with the fact that we're seeing a spike in violent crime in our community. We're seeing in our black community a spike in crime. Domestic violence is on the rise. Homicide and death through the gun violence is on the rise. My wife is fine, and we've been married 36 years, okay? But the other joyful thing about it is you have dual income. She works <laughs> and I work, okay? That's a positive thing. Dual income and love. Give me a thumbs up on dual income and love, okay? And y'all, you've done an amazing job. Mr. Marshall, you've done a great job moderating. And as a white woman, this is so powerful and educational for me that I, I can't imagine what it's doing for the boys. So just, I know you all are professionals, you have so much else going on in your life, so please sincerely take this as the biggest heartfelt thank you I can give you. This is just such a powerful experience I look forward to every year. And the Lyatta Moors, I don't need to sing their praises because we know how amazing they are, but I know they've done a great job coordinating as well. So just thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you, Jake. Thank you. Where are you going to Franklin? So, so I'm on my way to the state capitol to go to a committee meeting. Uh, so in the state capitol, they pass the laws that determine pretty much everything that happens in the state. So they, they pass the laws that let us in Louisville or wherever you're at know what we can and can't do. Um, and very specifically, I know you've heard about Breonna Taylor. What happened to her was that law enforcement until she busted in the door and they didn't know what was happening. Brianna and her boyfriend didn't know what was happening to them. And what we're saying is that's not right. We want to change the law so that nobody has to deal with that. And I'm telling you, I've seen it happen in, in the West End. I've seen it. You may have seen it too, where a lot of police like run in somebody's house. It's scary. And we just want to protect people in our home. We also want to keep those officers safe too. Because when they go in somebody's house and they don't know what's going on, they can get shot too. So, so that's why I'm going to Frankfurt today. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's actually a good. That's actually a good thing to do. Shoulders, I know you've always been looking out for me. D Mobs went on, man. Nice to see you, Delquan. I gotta catch up with you, man. I know it's been a while. I see Brother Jay down there and everyone else, of course, in the shower. So I just want to say thank you all for, you know, always offering this. And like I said, it's just, it's kind of surreal. You know, like I said, I've been attending this in some shape, form or fashion. Yeah, man. It's, uh, I think I volunteered with Mr. Uh, Kevin Fields, he used to work at Urban League. I volunteered with him one year to present, uh, present a session. So it's been funny, just, you know, nice doing this since high school myself, just to come back and see this now. So all those years, y'all, all this work I've been putting in all these years, I just say thank you, I appreciate you. Absolutely, appreciate you, brother.